hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and hit the bell button so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first person to get it in today's video tutorial we are going to learn how to number different pages with specific page numbers most of the time our project or document that we are working on requires us to number different pages with different numbers just like what i have here so if you check my document or my work i have a cover page i have the abstracts and i have um, an introduction a very brief one and i have chapter one so i think this will be enough to demonstrate how to number different pages with different or specific numbers so the main function that we are going to use here is the break page function the break page functions just simply tells you page that this is where the page ends, and maybe a different page is going to begin in the next section just like that so if you check in your tabs you see insect here maybe you have you have come across the page break before you see this page break there's a page break here and if you go to layout to there are bricks i'm not sure if if you are not so familiar with um microsoft word i'm not sure you you come across this one because it's, it's a bit hidden but this is visible so you may see it most of the times so when you come to break pages that is what we are going to use to be breaking our pages and to be um, numbering the pages what we are simply going to do is that we break the pages we tell the pages that this is where the first section ends so if i number it to get to this section the numbering should end here then the different um sections we also have a different number so basically that is just how you, you do it but there are so many ways of killing a cat so you can also have a different way of doing it and that is fine but this is the simplest way that you can just go about it so let's just start it. so my cover page wouldn't have any number so i'll just leave it and in your work too you have to also specify which of the pages that you are going to number just like i have here you see i have this abstract page so i'm going to give it a number um, um, a different numbering from the introduction page whatever your requirement says you do as according to that so the first thing we are going to do is that where all our pages will end we have to break them if you use this break you are going to have problem in the later sections so we we, we are going to use the break that is over here it will make our work very simple so what we are going to do is where you want to break it you put your cursor there so you put it at the last line of the page that you want to break so assuming that this is our car oh we are not assuming you're actually working on it so this is our cover page and we want it the, the cover page to end on just the first page so i put my cursor at the end of that page and go to my tabs up here layout under the layout under the layout i look for let me close this so under the layout i look for the break and open the break drop down and you see section break so under the section break you see next page continuous even like that so what we are going to do is that we are going to insert different pages so um, different numbers so what we are doing is we just break 
next page so this page has actually broken from the previous page so if you check it if you click here if you double click here you're going to see section one and footer of section one and head of section two okay so it means this page is different from that page so you let's go down here and let's go to where where are we breaking next we are breaking at introduction so when you get to introduction when you click double click inside it will take the um, header and footer section off so when you get to introduction so under the introduction you want to break this page to the introduction this section is actually a different section so the abstract the abstract here is a different section so we are going to break that one too you get you go straight to the last line of that section so you want to break it here so we place your cursor here then you go to outline then you break it there too it breaks when it moves to the next line or maybe when when it shifts your web down just use the delete button on the keyboard don't use the backspace to delete it just use the delete button on the keyboard to delete to move it up so when you check here let's let's double click here you see section two and that will be section two so you see section two is here and another so that is section one this is section two and that is also section two so this is part of it let's break it here too we are going to break it here we go to layout break and break here too so we delete it easily and check and see you see we now have section three so we have three different sections so we have our sections i think my breaks are done so all we need to do is to number our pages so you go to insect so you start from where you want to start the numbering i think you can just put your cursor here and you go to insect and under insect you look at the far right you see page number is here page number you open the drop down then you have to first specify where you want the page numbering to position whether you want it on the far maybe you want it on top of the page button of the page or on the page margins and i'll just choose the button of the page then where the style you have to choose the style too so i'll choose this one when you click on it it will number the page you see the section one or the cover page has been numbered as one the next section as two and this like that in that order so what you are going to do is very simple you do this you click here you click in the second section then you come up here you are still this design will open by itself you know the one who opened it but if you still want to open it so you just click on the number that the, the page number it will open the design for you so you come here when you click on the second section you see link to previous is here so you click on it to unlink it to the previous so when you click on it to unlink it to the previous you can now delete the cover page numbering so if you delete the cover page numbering it wouldn't touch the other page numbering but if you don't do that and you delete it 
it will delete the whole numbering that you've done okay so you have to make sure that you click in here in the second section and make sure you unlink that section to the previous section so you just click on it like that and it will unlink it to the previous section okay so you come to where you want your page numbering to start so assuming that is my cover page so it has no number the abstract starts with um i'm starting with it with a roman numeral so i go i click on it like that i make sure it's highlighted then i go to my page numbers so in the design tab the page number is not at the far right but it's now at the far left so you go to look for it here then you click on that and now you're not going to positions you're going to format page numbers so click on format page numbers so the number format is here so it has some um, the numbers this one's has some alphabet and the roman numerals so i'm choosing roman numerals then you come here it's asking you continue from previous section if you check continue from previous section it's all number let's let's look at how it's a number it you see instead of it starting from one it's starting from two because the previous section is there that is the first page is it's, it's being counted and it's numbering this page as two so what i'm going to do is i go to page number go to format and instead of checking continue from previous section I check continue um, start at so I can choose where to start I can either choose it to start at one so that is start at I or I can decide to choose it to start at maybe a higher number say um, that is 10 so maybe start at 10 and it will number the pages like that you see that is 11 x and that is 11 so it, it will continue down to the other sections what you have to do next is you have to also make sure you unlink this page too so you come to this section too you come to this section and what you are doing is you unlink it it's asking me do i want to delete the foot i think i didn't break this page so let me just quickly do that so you put it at the last page last line and break it let me check and see okay yes now it's broken so i have section three here so quickly when i check now will be 11 like that so I want to unlink it so I unlink it that way then I come here and I want this page to actually start at one so I go to format page number and then I choose numbering the Arabian numeral start at not I'm not starting at 10 I'm starting at so you can delete it and punch the number you wanted to start there start at one so now have this page the abstract page starting at um, um, numbered with Roman numerals and then the introduction page starting with the Arabian numerals starting at one and the so it will continue down like that so when i get to the chapter one that section to have to make sure i unlink it so i just unlink that and then give that page to a different number and what am i going to give it let me use the remaining um number format there that is the alphabet I choose this one and i started at a 
so very easily my page now has um okay so i have i click inside now i have um a cover page that hasn't got any number on it I have an abstract that starts with a roman numeral um and then i have an introduction that started with an arabian numeral and i have um a chapter one that starts with an alphabet so that is the easiest way to number your pages with different page numbers or specific numbers so if you find this video helpful do like the video share it with your friends or colleagues and also subscribe to the channel whenever i upload new videos you'll be the first one to like it or get the video and watch thank you for staying to watch my video bye bye